Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So the topic of this one then, I want to discuss with you guys $5 Facebook ads and whether they still work in 2019. Now, the first place I want to start with, just in case you're new to Facebook ads, new to e-commerce, then $5 Facebook ads, this premise of spending $5 per day is by no means a brand new strategy. And just to kind of illustrate this, um, a simple search on YouTube for $5 Facebook ads, I've listed all the videos in chronological order. And if we just scroll to the very bottom, to the point where we get no more results, you can see that people have been talking about $5 Facebook ads for over two years, and that's only as far back as YouTube will let me go. So hey, what's up guys? Sorry to interrupt the video. I just completely forgot to mention in the intro, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me in this video. Um, so a chance to speak to me one-to-one -one and ask me any questions about your Shopify store or Facebook ads, whatever it is. If that's something then that you want a chance to win, all you have to do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on yesterday, today's video just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced and with that being said then let's get straight back into it the next thing I want to show you guys then is the Facebook business help center or at least that's what I call it um, which is basically where Facebook give recommendations and advice in how to use their platform when it comes to advertising and it gives you insights into the way the algorithm works as well so I want to show you this point just purely because it's gonna in terms of the calculations and points I make later on in the video then this is going to be relevant so you need to see this so Facebook here you can clearly see that they recommend themselves that when optimizing for rare as results for example conversions they're rarer than page or link clicks keep in mind that we recommend getting 50 optimization events within your conversion window per week so what that means then is that if you're choosing purchase as a conversion objective if you're not getting at least 50 of those per week then your ad sets aren't going to optimize for delivery this has to be the second most important thing here as well is they have to have happen within your conversion window per week. So as it explains here, but just in case it doesn't make sense, then if you choose one day click or view, if somebody clicks on your ad, but then comes back two days later to purchase that product, they're not gonna be included within that count of 50. So if you choose a seven day click or view, then no matter when they come back, as long as it's within those seven days, they're gonna be counted towards the 50, and therefore there's gonna be more people counted towards that 50 and better chance of your ad sets being optimized. So that's typically why when I'm running ad sets, especially on a smaller budget, I will always, always, always choose seven day click or one day view. So why is that so important then? Why did you guys need to see that? Because when you reverse engineer the numbers, it tells you, you can work out essentially what you need to be achieving per conversion for your ad sets to deliver properly. So if we're spending $5 per day, times that by seven days in a week, that's $35 per week. Divide that $35 by the 50 conversions that we need. Now bear in mind, that's at a very minimum, then that equals 70 cents or 70p per conversion. So what exactly does that mean? It means that if you're not achieving 70 cents or cheaper per the conversion objective that you're optimizing for, then your ads are not optimizing and therefore you're not gonna be getting the optimal results. Therefore then, $5 Facebook ads are not an official way to run purchase campaigns. Now, there's gonna be an argument for starting with $5 Facebook ads um, purchase campaigns to test an audience, but again, this doesn't really make sense either because when you're testing an audience, the idea is to get as much data back as possible so you can make a judgment on that audience before you go ahead and start to scale it. So why would you start with a purchase campaign? Because the purchase campaigns are a lot more expensive. They're the most expensive campaigns you can run. When it comes to getting involved with Facebook ads, running campaigns, running ad sets, then you have to boil it down to the bare bones, to the very beginning, and you have to think about what is your optimal goal? What are you trying to do with this particular ad set? Are you simply testing an audience trying to get as much data back as possible so you can make a decision on whether you want to scale that in a purchase campaign are you trying to make sales and actually go attack an audience straight away and try and make as much money as possible you have to have a clear goal for every single ad set and this is why it doesn't make sense then to use five dollar purchase campaigns to test an audience because the data is so expensive you can use other objectives, campaign objectives, and get a ton more data back for a lot cheaper as it says here. And so just to kind of demonstrate this, I'm gonna go into my ad manager account and I'm just setting up a campaign, um, a conversion campaign as anybody would. I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Um, and just to kind of prove it to you guys, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom so you can see all of this is standard, it's blank, there's no detail tagged in, it's automatic placements, and the daily budget is 20 pounds. And if we just take a look on the right-hand side, we can see that the reach at a very max then is 7.9 thousand people. Now, if I just go back to the campaign objective again and choose traffic, um, go ahead, click continue, 
And again, just to kind of illustrate to you guys, everything is blank, everything's standard. Um, we've got a 20 pound daily budget again. The reach now is up to 50,000 people. So you can see, even though you're spending the exact same money, the amount of data, the amount of impressions, pretty much just everything you do within a traffic campaign, you're just gonna get a ton more information back. Another point to consider then is that Facebook is a bidding platform and $5 Facebook ads are very popular. The chances are you watching this video, this isn't the first time you've heard about the $5 Facebook ads strategy so if there's a ton of people using five dollar facebook ads and you're using five dollar facebook ads then then essentially you have to rely on your ad engagement i.e the relevant scores if you're going to outbid someone and get those favorable impressions because if everybody's using five dollar facebook ads then that's the only kind of other thing that facebook gauges when it comes to who gets like the pick of the bunch when it comes to an audience essentially they want two things they want to make as much money as possible and they want to provide the best experience possible for their users as well. So they're the two key indicators. Number one is how much money somebody's willing to spend, but then also the ad itself has to have really good engagement rates because they don't just wanna keep putting out really poor ads because that's gonna reduce the user experience. So if you're using $5 Facebook ads the same as everybody else, then you, that's you're pretty much your only option is you have to rely on the fact that your ad is gonna perform better than everybody else's because it's gonna get better engagement. All things considered then, what exactly does this all mean? So number one then, you need a higher budget when running purchase campaigns for two reasons. Number one, to outbid everybody else. If everybody's using $5 Facebook ads, simply increasing your budget to $10, that tells Facebook you're willing to spend double the amount of them. So even though your ad might have a slightly lower relevance score um, and not quite as much engagement, then the fact that your budget is higher than everybody else's might just push your ad and give you that favorable pick of the bunch or pick of the audience. It just increases your chances of getting the better results and number two then to help your ad set actually optimize the more you spend the more chances you have of conversions towards that 50 conversions a week and therefore the better chance you have of your ad set actually optimizing and bringing in the best results possible for that particular audience so all that being said then guys is there actually a place of five dollar facebook ads then when it comes to advertising on facebook and the answer to this is yes but only testing wise in my opinion now the reason i've put that in my opinion in brackets is because I'm not saying, I'm not just hating on $5 Facebook ads purchase campaigns, most specifically saying nobody can get good results running $5 Facebook ad purchase campaigns because that's not the truth. At the end of the day, it comes down to testing, seeing what happens. Um, but me personally then, I only ever use $5 as a budget if it's within a traffic campaign and I'm testing an audience. But one key thing then to keep in mind is that when you are testing an audience and running traffic campaigns, just make sure you pick a quality audience, i.e. the audience you want to sell to and will later run purchase campaigns for. So typically then just kind of give you a brief explanation of how I go about doing things is that instead of running purchase campaigns and 10 different ad sets, then it will be in a traffic campaign instead. And because the data is so much cheaper, then I'll go ahead and test 20, 25 different audiences. I'll run them for two, three days. The thing with the traffic campaign as well is they tend to optimize and settle down pretty quickly. Like you've probably seen it yourself with conversion campaigns is that one day you could have two sales, the next day you could have one sale, then the next three days you could have zero sales. They're very inconsistent unless you start spending big numbers, uh, big budgets, whereas traffic campaigns are usually pretty consistent from day one. So you don't have to run them for as long either. You can run them for a day or two and the results tend to be pretty consistent within those first few hours. That will typically be the results that you achieve for the next couple of days as well. So you, you almost get that immediate answer to an audience um, of whether it's going to be a successful one or not and then once you've picked out like the select few audiences that are performing better than everyone else then i'll simply just duplicate them into a cbo purchase campaign or just into a normal purchase campaign and therefore i can just focus the bulk majority of my advertising budget on those select few audiences that i know already work and with that being said then guys i'm gonna wrap the video up there one thing i want you guys to do is comment your opinion on this video down below um, at the end of the day everybody has a different point of view everybody has a different opinion but what it boils down to then is whatever works for you whatever works for you is going to be different to me so it'd be interesting to get your guys's point of view um, next thing i want to say then is if you're still watching the video then thank you very much i really 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 appreciate the support recently um, it's been absolutely awesome we've recently just surpassed 6,000 subscribers as well which is just um, pretty mind-blowing to be honest so thank you very much um, all i ask then is that if you do if you did like this video, then please, of course, leave a like. And if you want to be entered for that one-to-one 
um, draw to win a call with me, um, then just make sure you leave a comment down below as well. And with that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. What's going on guys? So here we are then on my previous video, um, product research strategy brand new for 2019. So if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go check it out. Anyway, I'm just going to take the URL then top left, head over to our random comment picker, um, get YouTube comments, 42 unique comments, which is actually a lot. So thank you very much. Um, the support, as I just mentioned, has just been pretty mind blowing. And the winner of the previous of the previous video then is this person here. So thank you very much for your comment. Make sure you reach out on Instagram. We can get that call arranged. And guys, for everybody who tried um, and entered the draw but didn't win then, unlucky to you. However, if you do want to just get straight down to business and book a call right away, you can do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said, guys, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you all tomorrow.